All right, how you doing? It is the radio guy, the Dr. Mike Prince. I hope that you have had a fantastic weekend. You should have, if you're a PV Nation fan, unless you're a Steelers fan, and we'll talk about that some other time. How you doing? Of course, we come to you each and every day right here on the Open Mic Broadcast Network, talking to you about the world of HBCU and beyond. Of course, the Twitter handle as well as the Instagram handle is the Mike Prince Show. The website is obnradio.com. Don't forget our 24-hour message line for you to call in, leave your questions, thoughts, comments, or concerns is 713-570-6736. And without any further delay, we'll jump right into today's shortened edition of the Mike Prince Show. Well, once again, we want to give congratulations to the ghost Eric Dooley and the Panthers pulling off the victory over the Grambling State Tigers this past weekend at the 93rd edition of the State Fair Classic, winning by the score of 22-16. to 16. Huge game for the defense of the Purdue A&M University Mighty Panthers. Willie Green led the charge with three sacks, a total of 10 sacks on the game. So now the Panthers will have this well-deserved bye week leading to the Southern season home opener on October the 13th. And it should be a very, very festive crowd, I would think. At least I would hope. Southern's coming in after being handled by Alcorn They're trying to figure out some things. Gramlin's trying to figure out some things. And I guess I might as well go on the record now. Jackson State's trying to figure out some things. I actually thought Jackson State would have won this past weekend against Alabama A&M. But Alabama A&M is showing that Coach Maynard has the Bulldogs on the right path. It's a new attitude in Huntsville. Got the Bulldogs with an extra bite in their field of play as of late. So now that the Panthers are on the inside lane of the Western Division of the Southwestern Athletic Conference, you want to make sure that you maintain your groove, maintain your flow, and keep focused on the prize at hand. Now, everybody, as we had made mention, was putting a lot of hype into this game going up against Grambling, which deservedly so. Coach Dooley, last place of employment, was at Grambling State University. He served as the offensive coordinator for four years. And there were a lot of back stories that was leading up to this game. Some you can buy into, some you couldn't buy into. A lot of moving parts, and you finally get this over the hump syndrome, if you would. The Panthers had not beat Grambling State since 2013 at the State Fair Classic. So they got that out of the way. Got two questions that are looming out there right now. How good is this Prairie View team? How bad is that Grambling team? When you look at Prairie View, It has been a very competitive, battle, road-tested schedule. Coach Dooley inherited a pretty decent program. He added some moving parts to it. He addressed some issues on the line, on the offensive and defensive side, more on the defensive side than on that offensive side. And the dividends started to show some promise this past the game against Grambling. And now it's a matter of fine-tuning the special teams because let's be honest, PV Nation, special teams is still somewhat of a concern for us. And speaking of special teams, Grambling's special teams really let them down, missing some Field goals, one of 47, another one was of 33, which is basically the difference maker into Grambling, at least thinking about overtime, 
with Prairie View. So you got to tighten up the special teams approach from Panthers position because this is going to be the degrees of separation. You've heard me say that, you know, usually your special team wins you or lose you a game or two per season. We've already lost a couple of games due to special teams mishaps. So now it's really good to see how the Panthers continue to add and build on the success that they've had against Grambling. We do apologize. We normally have a soundbite from Coach Dooley, but the, the quality of the soundbite that we had, it was it was real low quality. It was grainy and um, a lot of noise background, uh, just with the location of where they did the post-game interview. So we apologize about that, but we'll work on uh, adding some things uh, from the press conference that Coach will have later on today. But the Panthers are in really good shape right now. And this was a fantastic week because we were acknowledgement of the 20th anniversary of the Panthers breaking the losing streak of 80 consecutive games back on September 26, 1998 against the Langston Tigers. And I want to thank, personally, Coach Greg Johnson, who was the head football coach for the Panthers at that time, for making himself available, going back, recapping how things happened, all the players that were involved and the ones who were on the scene, behind the scene. And it was just really great to hear the energy that was flowing through these guys. Kevin Bell, Joshua Barnes, Anthony Carr, DeMelvin Kelly. Aaron Spivey, Big Twank, Quincy Fuller, and the whole gang of guys. Thank you all so, so much for making yourselves available and your willingness to want to talk about your journey here on the Hill. So that PV98, if you hadn't had a chance to check out their interviews, by all means, go to the website, obnradio.com, or you can go to Spreaker. Dot com and check out Open Mic Broadcast Network forward slash The Mike Prince Show. And they're right there for your listening pleasure. Panthers 2-0 and in conference play. 3-3 three and three overall. Actually, a game ahead of what I would have been happy with coming out of this. This first six game stretch, I said if we go two and four, I'm 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 satisfied knowing the rigor of this schedule that we had. But I have to I have to honestly say that P V Nation and Ghost Dooley, they are ahead of schedule. And let's hope that they can stay ahead of schedule and continue to knock things out. But what we'll do now, we'll soak the bones and the bruises from this six weeks of battle, get ready to implement some more of the game plan for the Southern Jags, take care of that business, let's continue to ride this PV Express train. That's going to be my time for now, I'm going to exit stage left, but before I do, I want to remind you, encourage you to become a listening partner today, simply go to the website, obnradio.com. Click on the PayPal button. Become a subscriber on today. Our questions, comments, message line that's available to you 24 hours a day, seven days a week is 713-570-6736. Until the next time, you guys be blessed and we'll see you on the other side.